What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Nicole, and look at what I got. <laughs> yes, I got another body wax kit with 24 wax strips and six wax post cloths. You guys really enjoyed my last video that I did when I reviewed the Glebe waxing strips and the Glee body cream. So, like I said in my last video, if you guys have not seen that, definitely go check out that check that out. I am running out of my Glee waxing strips. So, instead of buying some more Glee waxing products, I thought to try something else and review it again. So, today we are reviewing the Flamingo waxing kit box. You would think that it was flamingo, it would be pink, but it's purple. So, anyway, yes, I'm going to be reviewing this today. This is in this is in Target, and I bought this for, in Target for $8, I believe. It was a couple days ago when I bought it, but I believe I bought it for $8, $8 in Target. And I believe this is also available in Walmart as well. Do not look at my nails. I am sorry, okay? I am getting them off today. Well, just taking off, whatever. Um, yeah, so we're gonna be reviewing this today. Like I said, I ran out of my Glee waxing strips, so I thought to review another product. So let's see if this one's, if these are just as good as the Glee waxing strips. Now, before we start this video, I did say in my last video, like I said, definitely go check out my last video I did on shaving my bikini line using a TikTok hack, shaving my bikini line. And I did let you know in that video, if you did watch it, that I will update you guys on how my Kuda mama is looking. Um, I did let you guys know in my last video that the three products that we use I really did like and the baby oil specifically the baby oil was to help from razor burns and razor bumps and I told you guys that I don't really suffer from razor burns that much but I suffer from razor bumps a lot and I just want to let you know you guys that I do not have any razor bumps so baby oil is definitely key for any of you ladies out there or gentlemen that shave down there and suffer from razor bumps definitely put baby oil on after you shave that definitely worked for me I have no razor bumps and it's been like three or four, yeah like three days ago I think I uploaded that video and I haven't seen anything and I said in the video like usually I get razor bumps after two or three days but I haven't had anything so anyway like I said go watch that video if you want to see more info on that but let's get to these body wax and strips <laughs> okay so like I said 24 waxing strips come in this box and six post wax cloths. So the post wax cloths are the cloths that you use after you wax. Today I'm gonna to be waxing my underarms only. And um, one thing about this is that it is double sided. So that was that's kind of different from the Glee wax. The Glee wax is only one sided. This These are double sided. So that is cool for that. It says gentle wax base fragrance free and no artificial color now i don't know if the glee had any like fragrance free or no artificial color but if you are about fragrance free and no artificial colors like all those harsh chemicals and things like that this is free <laughs> okay so let's go ahead and open it oh i like how like it comes in this after you open it this is nice Ooh. all right so open the back and it comes like this. Oh, this is so nice. Okay. All right. So, here are the post waxing strips. I mean, the post waxing cloths. And here are the waxing strips. And then they have the instructions right in here. They have like a really big diaphragm and a bunch of pictures telling you what to do. And remember when I was um, starting off my Glee video, I was mentioning in the Glee video that it's very important to read before you start any product. So read, definitely read the directions. So I'm gonna kind of like briefly go over the directions really quick. So they said before you wax, your skin is subject, subjective and waxing might upset it. Do a spot test on a small little sensitive area. I ain't gonna do that, I know I'm good. <laughs> Hair must be at least 
uh, millimeters long, about the thickness of a toothpick. Oh wow, so your hair has to be very, very little. And as for your skin, it should be clean and dry. So basically that's the same thing that the Glee Wax and Strips said, like your hair cannot be too long while doing this. I know a lot of people were in the comments with the Glee Wax and Strips were saying like it really kind of didn't work. And as you guys saw when I was doing the video for the Glee Wax and Strips, it didn't work for me either when my hair was too long. But when I kind of turned it down, it worked. So your hair has to be really little. So that's the only thing about these Glee Wax and Strip kits at home. Like your hair cannot be too long. So, okay. so it's says while you wax keep it simple our wax strips are ready to use all you have to do is pull them apart slowly to keep the wax even on both sides notice which way your hair leans go with the direction of your hair place the wax strips on your body firmly rub it in in the direction of your hair growth to ready to secure it use one hand to pull the skin one hand and pull the skin while you pull the wax off a girl told me that in the comments too like I sh should hold my skin while I pull the wax off that definitely helps Use one hand to pull your um, skin, um, then the other hand to pulley, wax the strip off in the opposite direction of the hair, staying as close as you can to the skin surface as possible. You got this. After you wax, brace your bravery, then repeat the process in surrounding areas. Take a moment to appreciate the hairless warrior you are. Use the post wax cloth to smooth the skin and remove any stickiness and enjoy your smoothness. Very, very, very cut to the chase. And I like how like, they have like huge pictures and stuff that you can look at and stuff. It just looks really nice and just easy to read. Okay, so this is the piece of paper where they tell you all the precautions of what you cannot do um, when, while using this. And they specifically say on here, do not use this on your face or around your bikini line. I believe they do have another waxing kit for that, uh, not for your bikini line, but for your face. So definitely go check those, that, that box out. All right, so let's get started. All right, so I got the waxing strip and basically what we do is we're gonna pull it off. Let me see if it smells like anything. No, this don't smell like nothing. The Glee Wax and Strips actually smelled like a strawberry Starburst smoothie. Like, it smelled so good. And I thought they said these were double-sided, like the wax was on this side and on this side. But it's kind of just like the Glee, how you have to pull it off. So that's okay, so here we go with the pulling. Now, I'm sorry, I know this is disgusting. I'm sorry, okay? This is my hair. So, we are about to wax this. I don't think it's that long, but we shall see because these at-home waxing kits do not want your hair that long. So, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and press it on. Oh Lord, I'm nervous again. Okay, so <laughs> I really got it in there, y'all. And we are about to pull it off. So they said like, pull the skin, okay, Ready? You gotta pull, pull help, cause I can't pull it. Okay, so pull it the opposite direction on the count of three. Oh, they say pull. I'm gonna just pull the skin this way. Okay, one. Wait, do it on three. One, two. Oh. <sighs> Ew. It's a lot of hair that came off. Some hair did come off, not a lot though, not like all of it, but majority of the hair did come off. So we're about to do it again. I feel like I screamed really loud, I'm sorry. <laughs> all right, that actually wasn't that bad. It was just kind of like, I think it's just be like all kind of like in my head a little bit. Oh, it's really sticky. It'd be really in my head like, but it doesn't hurt that, that bad. Okay. Five, one, two, three. Mm. All right, so we just did it again and not so much hair. Oh, well, some hair did come off. I don't know, I guess my hair was too long again. I don't know. We tried to do it again and it's still hair there, but it's not as much hair as it was before, but it's still hair there. So we're gonna try it one more time and then if it's too much hair, I guess I'm gonna have to like trim it down a little bit and kinda like do the same thing. 
All right, so I'm about to go ahead and put the post cloth on it and wipe off the stickiness because I can't even like put my arm down, it's so sticky. So I just got done trimming my hair down just a little bit so it wasn't as thick as the other one. So we're gonna see if it'll really like take off like all of this. So I'm gonna go ahead and take another waxing strip and do the exact same thing on the other armpit. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put this on. Ah! All right, they can you help me out again? <laughs> okay, I'm pulling the skin. Wait, hold on. <laughs> I don't know why I still get nervous. Okay. One, two, three. Oh, yeah. All right, that got a lot of the hair and that definitely looks better than this one. I mean, this one doesn't look that bad, but that definitely got a lot of the hair. Now, it's still like some stubby hair. It's like ingrown, but it definitely got more of the hair. We're gonna do it one more time with the other one. Make sure it's really well done. Get this, okay. Morning. One, two, three. That looks good. All right, so I just got done wiping the post cloth on this underarm and you can see it's a little redness, but it's okay It's because of the waxing. But this arm definitely waxed better than this one. My hair, I guess, was too long. And I kind of trimmed my hair down on this one, and this one looks way better. So right now I have the little waxing cloth liquid on there to reduce the redness and kind of like the stinkiness. It doesn't really hurt that bad, or I don't know if I'm just kind of like used to it now, but it's really not that bad. It's I, I, it's pain I could definitely tolerate. And let me tell you something, I have a very low tolerance for pain. So if I can tolerate it, it's it's tolerable. It, it It's doable. Okay, so I'm gonna let this sit on there for a little while, kind of let the redness go down, and then I'm gonna give you guys my final reviews on the Flamingo Waxing Kit Strip. All right, you guys, so I just waited about like at least like 10 minutes or whatever, kind of got like some to eat and stuff. So now I'm about to give my final thoughts and reviews on the Flamingo Body Wax Kit with 24 waxing strips and six post wax cloths. Now, like I said, um, <laughs> my final thoughts on the flamingo body wax kit is that it definitely works if your hair is not long so if you are interested in using at home body kits or this particular kit in general the kits definitely work you have to like catch the hair before it grows really really long like right after you shaved or right after you wax that's when you have to use this like your hair really cannot be long and that was kind of the same thing and the same problem i was having with the glee waxing strips like they kind of said the same thing in the instructions like your hair can not be long now i don't know if I can't remember if the numbers were the same of the the measurements of your hair, but I know, I, and I'm starting to kind of like generalize, like generalize like these at home cheap body wax strips. Like if your hair is long, it's not gonna really work. But like the the weird thing about that is, is like you know you think that you're buying a body kit or a body waxing kit for it to like shave your wax your hair off automatically, and you don't have to like shave or anything like that's kind of like the purpose of buying a body wax kit so you don't have to use a razor so you can wax so i'm just giving you guys a heads up on like what a, a general idea of like what bot at home body wax kits do i don't really think they're as strong as like the actual like waxing the actual like sugar sugar wax and stuff that you can make and things like that so just be aware of that when you're using these body wax kits that you're gonna have your hair cannot be longer you're gonna have to probably like pre-shave it if it is too long so I don't know if I really see a point but other than that I do think that this worked like I said when I did shave down my hair it did work and it did do a really good job now I wish these smelled just as good as the Glee like it smelled like a strawberry smoothie these did not have any scent to it but I really like the box design and I really like how when like I said when you read the directions and when you open up it comes in like this and it's like really fancy and it comes with pictures and stuff so I I think the body wax kits are really good for beginners if you're a beginner like I am I think this is really good to start off like I've never waxed before 
when I started, when I tried the Glee waxing strips, that was my first time like ever waxing. So these are really good for beginners, you know, but then once you get more advanced and stuff like that, like once I start getting Brazilian wax and everything like that, you know, then that's when I'm gonna try like the actual like wax, like, you know, the blue wax and stuff like that and the sugar wax. So this is definitely good for a person that is beginner, like I said, just like me. Well, I don't really think I'm a beginner anymore. Well, uh, yes, I am. I'm still a beginner, I think. <laughs> All right, you guys, so that is my review on the Flamingo Body Wax Kits. Definitely let me know, you guys, if you guys have seen this in the stores and you guys have been considering buying it. Let me know in the comments if you have tried this out before. Definitely go check out my Glee Body Wax and Strips and the Body Removal Cream that I used and I reviewed. And let me know your thoughts and comments on those videos as well. I love you guys so much. Definitely subscribe if you support this channel. I love you guys again, and I will see you guys next time.